it's the very last look of these cars for about a month, maybe uh -huh. two. There they go. That's so crazy. <laughs> What's up guys? I'm back. I have been doing so much like out processing, moving, cleaning, getting the last of the car sorted out. It has been the most busy like two, three weeks of my life. But if you've seen in Christian's videos, they are all like gone. All the cars have been shipped. We moved out of the house. We're living on base now and we leave this week. We're going back to the States for good. It's It's been really crazy, honestly. We're actually up right now in Wolfsburg. So tomorrow I'll show you like the whole entire factory when we go on the tour and the Zeithaus and the Autostadt. The really two cool museums that they have here in town. But we're here for that so that Jordan can see it all. And we also visited my grandparents because they live about two hours from here. So it's been a really nice last few days. <laughs> it's really crazy that we're actually leaving. And we already found a house in North Dakota. So we're pretty much all set and good to go. This is my last little like tiny vacation before we dip out for good. I just can't believe that We've been here for, not here, here, but in Germany for three years, like time went so fast and Corona kind of ruined a lot of things for us. So, you know, what can you do? I think it was a really good experience and now we get to be here and then we're going home. And that's going to be the other craziest thing. We have to move so many cars all around. We have three cars going into Brunswick, Georgia that we have to drive um, down to Orlando to store. And then we have the Savoy in Virginia. We have my Mark II in Fort Myers. And then we have my GTI that we're going to be driving all the way from Florida to North Dakota. And then we have to go to Colorado for the VR6 wagon. So, so much stuff to do. But it's all gonna work out and I'm very excited. So, I'm gonna have a good weekend. You get to see all the stuff over here in Wolfsburg and I hope you guys have fun with me. Okay, starting out, if you go right, you can start seeing all of the OG beetles. That interior looks really, really cool. It's just stripes, but this color is really nice as well. Oh, there's so many, and they have all the dates on them, so you know how old they are. Oh, look at this interior. Yes, I just love it. I love it. There's so many here. It is actually, actually insane. And they have like a bunch of breakdowns too of different vehicles. So you can see like the shell, everything. Okay, is this just all fiberglass? So this is a breakdown of like an old Beetle. I think it's a diesel. I'm pretty sure, right? This would make sense if this is for this vehicle piece, whatever. But it even like cuts all the pieces so you can see the drum brakes and inside and like see the little shoes and stuff. This is pretty, pretty cool. I don't know, I, I always have like such a fun time just seeing all the really old beetles. I want one so bad, but they are so expensive. I've looked for a few, but they're either completely rusted out, no engine, it's just the shell, and they're still like a few thousand euros, or they're fully restored and they're like 25, 30,000, and I just don't have that type of money, honey, you know? So, wow, like this, this is nice. This is, this is pretty nice. I don't know, but the pastels, like they just, they get me, you know, like look at her. Come. You can't tell me that that's not like the coolest thing ever. Absolutely love it. Oh my gosh. Ooh, 2003? There's no way. Construction 2003. Okay, wow. Look at her. That one's nice. Of course they have Herbie in here. This is a 1969. Look at, look at, wow, wow. Okay, I want to say, I don't remember this. I don't remember this sticker on the side. Maybe that's new, right? I don't know, maybe that's a German thing. Don't know, but other than that, looks just like the movie one. 
the love bug. I this is so cute. I just imagine driving. Okay, these are bicycle wheels. These are definitely bicycle wheels. But you know what? Wow. Just imagine driving around in this one seat. You only need room for one person. But I bet she rips. Upon further inspection, there are pedals in here. You actually, you have to be the ripper. But uh, still pretty baller, in my opinion. They really tried to have a beetle be like a hot air balloon, which is insane. It would have been so cool to see this. I'll have to look and see if there's pictures. But this is from 1995. I wonder if it flew. Wouldn't that be crazy if it did? The basket beetle, like this is actually the woven fibers of like baskets, you know, pretty pretty crazy. Don't touch it, but oh, that shift knob is so cool. That would be cool to have. And I will take that Momo wheel. I don't mind it at all. If you want to build a beetle out of Legos, they've already got two here, so don't even try it. Don't bother. That will take so long. <laughs> and they even like got woven seats like that looks so cool. Okay, this was made for me for my birth year a little wooden one I can't imagine this actually drove At all, but it still looks pretty insane. Like everything is wood. That's so cool Wow, okay, okay, okay Look at that. Isn't that sweet? All the post stickers in the world you need a stamp this one's got you covered and i don't know i just love this one i think this is so cool it reminds me of like a really old like garden furniture set i just love the way it looks it looks so sweet this is from 1970. Oh, gosh it has an engine it has literally everything i'm sure it drove around a couple times but it would just be so cool and imagine you'd have the best airflow of your life like you would have the nicest breeze in the world. So this is the special Ottinger Edition Beetle. It is insane how wide it is. <laughs> like, it's so cool. Obviously, I'm gonna assume that Porsche was the inspiration here. But look how wide. And you can just see the roof. Like, it's so small. <laughs> it's so wide. It looks crazy. But also, it looks really cool. I would definitely drive this. I can't imagine they'll ever sell it, though ever 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 like look how wide these are like, you can go all the way in there like you're in there right now you're in there these tires are 345 35s <laughs> 345 sir um looks really sweet though i just can't get over this look at these really old coupes these look so cool look at the Kia. Ooh with the teal mint okay okay simmer down i'm trying to keep my voice down you know because i'm so excited but i'm also a little sick so i just gotta tone it down but this is so cool and then they have like all the engines and the seats i'm sorry what i really wanted to make christian like a gaming chair for his birthday with the recaro seat but it was just so expensive to buy the seat maybe i'll do it whenever i like, get a different job and i make more money i don't know a beautiful bus. This color is absolutely gorgeous. Wow. If these also weren't crazy expensive, I would try to get one too. <laughs> Let's see the interior. Okay, okay. Oh, everything has like a really tiny, like minty green accent, like the shifter around the seats. If you can see like that, yeah, that edging right there is all green. That looks so cool. It's like never, it's never too much. Also, what kind of sickos over here are stroking these? I need, if they put that sticker up for you, you need to stop. That's inappropriate. You're sick. You are sick. Just imagine there's like a crazy fire and one of these is coming to save you. Wouldn't that be so cool? They're like, hang on, hang on, let me get the ladder off here. Like, that would be the coolest thing. I wish we got to kind of grow up in that type of time period and get to see these. Okay, this is not even that old. But just see these rolling around looking like this and not sitting in museums. That would be the coolest thing ever. So thanks to Matias, we got to go into the secret engine room at the museum. And guys, first off, they have this huge wall of really large model cars, which is pretty sweet to see. And then all the engines you probably ever want to see in your life are in here it's insane they have a the w12 the w16 and a w18 over there which is huge 
Yeah, it's crazy. Yeah, this is the just everything. And they also have it broken down too, so you can see inside and like see all the yeah, gears and stuff. Of a transmission. Like, oh, this is, this is freaking cool. Calm, cool little V10 here. Look at her. Just a bunch of different ones. All the VR6s, the 2.4. And then the 3.6, ooh, wow. 3.6, yeah. Yeah, this, I think this one's for like a, like a van possibly, because in the manifold and also, what is this, this hard back here, that's kind of weird. On the back side. You know how hard that, that'd be such a nightmare. Well, it's probably, it's probably mounted this way. Mm. And not a front wheel drive car. W8, with everything in the world chromed in it, even the spark plugs. Yeah, no, I'm I don't. Sure they function really well. <laughs> w12. This is like such a mess. Yeah, it's. But giant. I also love it at the same time. It's just really tall as well. Yes. And of course, the W16. Wait, what did you say it was 7.9 liter? Mm-hmm. And this is 6.3. Yeah. This is a W18. They're just ginormous engines. Okay. One of my favorites is the Carbon Gear. I don't know why it looks so white in here. It's, it's like more like a cream color. I'm just gonna assume these are like somewhat amphibious because they have this crazy like undercarriage portion to protect things. It just kind of looks like a boat. Ooh, these seats look uncomfortable. <laughs> it's just like a little strip of leather over a metal frame, but it would be cool to take this thing off some sweet jumps. Okay, okay, we got the propeller, and it goes down. Yeah, this thing definitely goes in the water, and we have the exhaust routed up here, so she, she's going deep. She is going deep in there. Another really popular one is the SP2, because it's just so long in the front. <laughs> I feel like it looks like a little spy car, but... Look at the seats. Ooh, and it has wood trim too. I don't know if you can see it, but the shift knob and like the e-brake, it's all really nice hardwood. Man, they really had to put this on here because you guys are sick. It's a limo. Ooh, we got this one with the front storage. Okay. Okay. Oh, you know what? I think it's trying to just show you like the inside, but maybe that is a storage compartment. Just look at if you like orange, I think you would love this car. Like, just a really long tangerine. Wow, the 412 LE variant. I have never seen one of these, but it looks really cool. If anyone has one, let me know. This would be cool to ride around in. And of course, one of my all-time favorites, the Mark I Rabbit. Oh my gosh, with all the blue interior. That is so gorgeous. I absolutely love the way they would just make the entire car a single color on the inside. It's so cool. The Scirocco. Oh my gosh. With the plaid interior. Oh, this is so gorgeous. And it's automatic. But just look, look at this. Literally such a gorgeous car. So this is the Scirocco 1 LS. It has the four-cylinder... 70 horsepower engine. This is a Scirocco 2 TR. This one has 110 horsepower. Ooh, and the yellow. Cool TR badging here. It's almost like denim. And then the Scirocco 2 GT with the snowflakes. Okay, okay. This wouldn't even be a Volkswagen Museum without a mint, mint Corrado VR6. Okay, ooh, and it's right-hand drive. That's pretty sweet. I just love this color. This green color is so nice. Oh yes, yes, yes. 95, oh my gosh. If I could just have one of these, please. And this orange, just, oh my gosh. So this is a 1977 Passat GTI, but okay, okay, these seats, the carpet, this is so cool. What the heck? This is so cool. And the pinstripes. I know if you had this car in the 70s and you're riding around, you were probably the coolest person. 
the coolest. So this little Mark 1 actually drove from Alaska all the way down to South America, which is pretty insane. Wow. I think this one did something similar. Um, yeah, I'm pretty sure. Maybe they drove together. Just imagine, look at all the cracks in the windshield. I'm sure they had a rough, rough ride. Nice and sporty, Polo Coupe GT. I don't know. I like the older Polos, but the new ones, I just, I don't, I don't love them. And of course, one of my favorite ones to see is this Mark IV. This thing is absolutely insane. It is so crazy because it's just a 2.1 liter five cylinder engine that they have supercharged and it makes like 900 horsepower. And they also like put all of the water and oil cooler stuff in the back. You probably, I don't know if you can see it back there, but it's all in the trunk. It has like a tubular frame, super lightweight body. So it weighs like 1,440 kilograms, which is pretty light for this car. And it flies, it's insane. A lot of the pieces actually came from the audi rs2 that's also why they have that rsi badging on it but it is to drive this would be wild like it would be insane it's so lightweight and it's stupid fast oh my gosh it'd be so cool to be in here it'd be so cool but oh cut the ma not the magic colors yeah this thing would be insane look at the airflow Look at that airflow we got going on. 900 horsepower. Go ahead, say something about Mark IVs. This is the coolest thing ever. And then of course we have super sporty, super race car like Corrado, the G60. This thing is also cool. The squad lining up all the race cars, rally cars. Ooh, this, this is nice. I would take a Mark II GTI G60 any day let me know you got one for sale let me know or i'd take this like i wouldn't mind this either you know i feel like i could drive over like all of the things ever if i had this car Ooh, we got the passat sedan so this is actually the 50th year anniversary passat that they had made and it actually has all of the names of the german employees at all of the factories during that time it's kind of lame though because these are just stickers not actual writing if they had written it it'd be pretty insane but no i'm just kidding this is it's pretty cool just imagine your name is on a car like for history it's a part of history forever see i don't this is the harlequin so in germany they had the harlequin and then in the states we had the harlequin i'm not too too sure what the difference is but I don't know, polos just aren't my favorite things. Yeah, yeah. And casually, they just have a Lamborghini Chiron in here. Okay, nothing, nothing to write home about, nothing crazy. This thing is more crazy. Please tell me that they drove this like through an African safari and like really, really rode out in it because this this is wild. If I could put tracks like this on um, any of my vehicles, in a heartbeat, ladies and gentlemen, in a freaking heartbeat. So this is what the Mark IV body shell looks like. There's no engine or transmission in this vehicle, but it has all of the pieces that they would use to test the car for safety, like any type of safety issues. So they guarantee 12 years of rust-free paint and rust-free body panels with this vehicle because the paint was electrolically galvanized <laughs> science um so it didn't rust and that's why mark IVs are the best vehicle in the game i mean i'm sure they used all of that on other cars too but just saying coolest one out there giant race cars tiny race cars and then bam the arvw tell me this is not a spaceship this is definitely a spaceship guys you're gone, you're out. So it only has 175 horsepower, but because it's so freaking light, it's able to go like 224 miles an hour, which I bet feels like you are zooming in this little car. Oh, and look at that little one over here. If Christian was a car, this is what he would be. If you even count this as a car, look how cute. Oh my gosh. 
Okay, and I stand corrected. If Christian was an actual car, he would be this little thing. The SMVW. I think that it's powered by pedals. Pretty sure you gotta pedal this thing. Um, actually, maybe you don't. Actually, it has one cylinder engine. Good old 0.27 horsepower. So that's all you need. Some of my favorite Mark III seats come from the Altmar Alt edition. I absolutely love these seats. Altmar Alt was actually a famous German artist and he did a commission with Volkswagen to build this Mark III. So it has all of his really cool artwork along the sides, the front, the back, everywhere, all over the car. And only a thousand were made, so it's pretty crazy to get to see one of these in such nice condition. It's a shame because all this artwork is just decals, but it would be really cool if they had actually physically painted it on there. I know I paint a thousand cars by hand, probably really rough, but at least one or two, it would have been pretty sweet. But yeah, I absolutely love these seats. And one day, one day I'll have a set that are like really, really mint because these look awesome. So this lineup is like all of their futuristic kind of looking cars. I don't think they really mass produced any of these at all. Just made them as like concept vehicles. But they all came with the most baller interior. Wouldn't this be so cool to just have driving around? And look at this little bubble dash. Yes. This thing would be so sweet. So the defrost signs on this facade actually spell out Synchro. I'm gonna buy one of these. I love the color too. So this is a Passat GT, 1986, me, okay? Right now, I will own one of these. Color is so nice. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's I'm pretty today. sweet. Right now, I will buy one of these for sale. I wish I had a plaque. There's no plaque saying like... What yeah, engine what engine's in it? I'd be curious. This is the Mark I Cabrio Sea Golf. This thing is so crazy. They actually unveiled it in 1983 at Werther's E to show off the fact that this is like an amphibious vehicle and it can swim and float. This is the design of it. So like the tires actually will barely even touch the water and it'll just have these really big skids next to it that keep it afloat. And they just have it mounted up to the front and the rear, which I think is so crazy. Like they really did this and it actually worked. But I feel like then you're driving around like you're taking up four lanes at once. I would say this is definitely one of my favorites. This is just a nice Mark I classic line cabrio with the dual rounds. She looks absolutely gorgeous. You know, you don't ever need to like go too crazy with your car. If you just have a beautiful OEM vehicle, you just add small little touches like it can look so incredible. Oh my gosh, it's absolutely gorgeous. I don't know how I missed the center section. This is also one of my favorite sections because it has the craziest things ever. Futura. I don't even know what this little orange tangerine thing is. Look at this color. This color is insane. I mean, this is Scirocco. I've seen it in this color just on the streets, which is pretty cool too. But, ooh, the seats. Okay, okay. She's a little wild. Wow, I love this little thing. It's called a Vario. This is the Eco Racer. Okay, it makes kind of sense. IRVW Futura. Okay, it's like a whole dome. The doors are insane. Is it like a van door that slides? No, this actually opens up like Lambo doors. So you open it up, she flies open up there. You slide into your beautiful gray fuchsia seats this one has seen better days but that's okay and you ride out you ride out in this thing you probably feel like you're going 200 miles an hour god dang i have seen a few of these rsi beetles for sale they are very expensive let me tell you very expensive but they look so awesome yes we just love like she looks so mean but she also looks like a barbie girl at the same time I don't know. And I just, the emblem on these, oh my gosh, this is so cool. Ooh, just imagine in black. Yeah, yeah. One day, one day guys, I'll be there. 3.5 Cabrio color concept in a yellow, my favorite color. 
every time you see these seats online, they're always blown out, stained, scratched, like they're not even remotely this bright at all. So it's cool to get to see them like this. I didn't show you every car in here because it is so giant of a place, but if you're ever in Wolfsburg, make a trip out here. It's like $8 to get in, it's so cheap. Oh, my favorite. All right, guys, thanks so much for coming with me to the auto museum here, it's so cool. I hope you guys get the chance to come out here. It's gorgeous and it has just some of the most amazing cars that you probably ever see. So definitely had a great time. Get ready for the Otterstadt.